It's going to be a quick video on new engine build or uh, partial teardown uh, reconstruction. Some of the initial diag you should do when you put a new engine back together or uh, you do any kind of major repairs. Um, anytime you're disconnecting a bunch of electrical connectors um, and you put it all back together, you want to run some basic tests. So you can do a lot of this with Auto Ingenuity and even with Torque Pro on your Android phone. Um, I'm using IDS today. So we're going to go to self test, run a powertrain, engine transmission, key on, engine off, self test. It'll give you some warnings there. This is just going to go through uh, a bunch of stuff in the system, make sure everything's plugged in, and make sure you don't get any modules that aren't reporting. On auto ingenuity, you can run a key on engine off test as well. Uh, a lot of times you'll get an EGR failure code if you have an EGR delete, um, depending on your, your flash. So uh, when I first ran this, I got some uh, glow plug control module. Uh, my odd bank was showing uh, no connection, and sure enough, I checked my plug. I had made a YouTube video um, of how to test your glow plugs using the harnesses there, and I forgot to plug it back in. So that's why it's important to run this test. Um, otherwise, uh, my engine control mod, my PCM and my TCM, uh, powertrain control module and transmission control module both pass. Um, and I went ahead and cleared, plugged that uh, harness back in, cleared the codes, and uh, now we're good to go electrically. And then uh, the other thing you want to do is monitor some of your uh, vital uh, factors. Um, up here on the screen, I've got my fuel on and off, so I can cycle the fuel on and off. Uh, that's good for if you've cracked an injector or gotten into the fuel system at all. You want to go ahead and uh, turn your your fuel uh, and cycle your fuel. Fuel pump on. It'll turn on your fuel system, that way it primes and purges all the air bubbles out. Uh, the 6 liter injectors are pretty uh, pretty touchy to air and lubricity, so you need to make sure you uh, prime your fuel system. And then on the screen here I've got battery positive voltage. Um, you want to make sure you're over 12 there. You want a good solid uh, battery voltage for your initial priming and cranking. Uh, ECT and EOT, well, we'll look at those as it's warming up. Pick a main power, we're, we're at 49.5, 49. Uh, you want to see something over 47 volts there. ICP and ICP desired, we'll look at those while we're while it's running. IPR duty cycle, that's normal for uh, key on, engine off. RPM while cranking and voltage ref should always be 5 volts. So that, those are some of the key things you want to watch uh, on a new engine build or whenever you've done any kind of major repair you're getting ready to uh, start the system back up and make sure uh, everything's plugged in and checks out before you go and try to start it.